Hi, this is Aaron Lin with another project management training video for you. And in this video, I want to geek out a little bit about project management and talk about project and task data structures and views and why they're different and why that's important to how you organize your project management tool. And if you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments below. And if you need some more personalized help with your project management setup or with your Asana, please reach out to me using the link in the description below. So let's get into it and jump over into Asana right now. So this is my Asana setup. Uh, this is my content or editorial project. And this is a project with tasks, like any other project you see properly in any other project management tool. And the great thing about Asana and other project management tools is that I can see the same data in multiple ways. So in this case, I'm looking at it as a board. I can also hop over and look at it look at it as a list. I can then look at it as a timeline or a Gantt chart. I can also look at it as a calendar view. So the same data can be presented in multiple ways, multiple views. And this is how it's supposed to be. Views are different perspectives of the same data. So the underlying data doesn't change. The way that we process and workflow and treat the underlying data doesn't change. But the way that we view it for purposes of organization or just people think in different ways can change. And you want to keep those two things separate. Now, this is what people usually mess up with project management. They try to organize their calendars, uh, sorry, they try to organize their projects by view rather than by the underlying data structure. So for content, you know, it's kind of obvious you have sort of, you need to research the content, you need to develop it and then edit it, and you need to publish it, right? Like that's a basic content development process. And that's how your project should really be organized in terms of sections and statuses and workflow. But what I see is a lot of things like this, like this social media calendar, which is embarrassingly is the default in Asana. I see things organized by ideas scheduled this week, scheduled next week, later this month. And I kind of wonder, how do these people actually get work done? How do you know what's due tomorrow? How do you do know what's due next week? How do you know what the status of something is? Um, and the fact is you can't because you're trying to organize task, uh, sorry, a project and its tasks by a type of view rather than the underlying workflow process to it. So that is probably one of the most common mistakes. Um, it's actually kind of a high level advanced mistake that people make with project management, which is they confuse the underlying data structure and workflow with how they actually want to view the data because the tools let us view the data in any number of different ways. And that's a great thing about tools like Asana and ClickUp and any other project management tool. So it's our job as business owners to get it right, to get the data structures, to get the workflow right, and then let the tool allow us to present that data in multiple ways. And that's it for geeking out in terms of project management, data structures, and views. If you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments below. And if you need some personalized help setting this up for your own projects in Asana or in any other project management tool, please feel reach out to me using the link in the description below.